right, so we're going to do a, a review on these beans right here. Now, this is a wax, golden wax bush bean, just a standard golden wax bush bean. Nothing special about them. Uh, the beans, when, they, when they're done and they're mature, they turn white, so they're a white type of a bean. And uh, these are quite good. I really like bush beans. I really like this particular variety of bean. I've been growing these on and off throughout the years. Now, I did try growing the, the Indie Gold Wax Bean, which is an improved version of this normal wax bean. And I didn't really find that much difference between that one and this bean here, except the Indie Gold seemed like it was slightly maybe more productive growing in the right conditions. It seemed like it was doing a little better. But this is a standard wax gold bean, and it's really just as good to be honest with you and I like these a little better and these are a little bit easier to get seed for than the Indy because the Indy wax gold bean is more of a commercial grade type of wax bean for example like when you buy wax beans in the store and they're frozen or something like that these are the type of beans that they're using for that because they're generally very productive plants or they're supposed to be anyway so let's pick one of these and do a taste test on it just want to show you there's plenty of beans starting to come out on this plenty of flowers there's beans coming out all over these were planted first in the back and then i said you know i'm going to turn a whole bed into beans so i planted a whole bunch more maybe two weeks or so three weeks later so these in the front were planted a little later even though they're the same size plant they're just not producing quite as much yet because they're still catching up to the beans in the back so but these are really starting to come in nice and you can see there's tons of flowers on them. They're really starting to come in. I'm going to get a lot of wax beans this year. I'm the kind of person I try to eat as much raw as possible rather than freezing it or anything. So I'm going to really try to consume these raw. I am going to let quite a few of them dry and produce beans so I can sell them at the end of the year. But let's pick one and give it a go. Now, I don't like to generally wait until these are fully yellow though you can wait until they're yellow a little bit and then pick them but there's a very short window of time between when they're still green and when they're really kind more yellow than what you see here this has got a lot of green in it you can eat these raw when they're yellow but there's a very short period of time between the green and the yellow where it just that yellow just suddenly hardens right up and the beans fully form in there. It's very short. It could be within a few days even. So let's turn you around and uh, give this one a go. All right. Well, what's up, guys? Here it is. This is the wax golden bean, standard wax gold bean or golden wax bean. I'm not sure what the correct name of it is. Just a standard wax bean. Very readily available in most stores. But this is one of the beans I really like to eat when it comes to beans. It's a bush bean. And uh, we're going to give this one a bite right now and see what it tastes like. Mm. The skins are a little bit hairy and raspy, so it kind of wants to stick in your mouth a little bit. So shooting a video and chewing on this thing becomes a little bit challenging because it wants to stick in my mouth. And as I'm talking, stuff's flying out of my mouth. So I don't want to do that on camera. Yeah, there's a, like a little bit of a raspiness on here. So when you're chewing it, it kind of wants to... But after you chew it up a little bit, it's fine. Now, the flavor of this thing has a very traditional green bean type flavor. And it also has a nice smooth crispiness to it. Smooth flavor. When I say smooth, I'm talking about the flavor. It's very smooth. You, 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 you kind of just... You're not... There's nothing in it to kind of make you like you know I don't know if I like that aftertaste or something nothing like that it's very smooth a very traditional bean green bean flavor I, I almost want to say it's a little sweet because I have grown these in the past and I've had them where they were slightly a little bit on the sweet side it really depends on the soil how much lime and nutrients you put in the soil I have had these where they were on a kind of slight sweet side this is a very good bean to grow and it's one of my favorite and i mean i do have a couple of other bush bean varieties i'll probably review them next year or if i i might even go when i go to the store i might pick up a couple of more bush bean varieties which are generally green bush beans but the yellow i really really like when it comes to the bush beans you could see it's cylindrical in shape it's not a flat type of bean so it's very nice. You can chop these up into like one, one and a half inch pieces. You can blanch them or slightly blanch them and you can eat them very, 
easily with butter or something like that and they go really nice like that you don't want to necessarily boil them to the point where they're soft you want to just blanch them a little bit and soften them i like to eat my beans raw eat them in salads i forage them i eat them right off the plant that's the way i like to eat my beans the best but let me finish this and uh we'll end the review I do want to make a point of something when you're eating these beans generally raw. If you're going to cook them, it doesn't really matter that much. But if you're going to forage them and eat them raw like I do, the very tails I usually spit out. And the reason why I do that is because the tail end of them tends to have a, a different flavor than the rest of the bean. So when you're eating them, I'll pick one that's not so ripe. Not so yellow, so to speak. So when you're eating them, you kind of want to just let the very bottom part go you can eat those it's just they taste a little bit more green and sometimes they're a little bit more fibery now when like that bean i just ate now that was nice and green they're not as raspy when you eat them in their green stage they're not as raspy and they're even more crispy and juicier so they, they do taste a little better to be honest with you when they're still in their green stage, but when they're in their yellow stage, they do develop a slightly different flavor, and that tastes a little different as well. So you might want to kind of jump around between the yellow and the green. So when you're eating them like that, give them a try both ways. You might like them either way. All right, so that was just a quick review on the golden wax bean. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.